It's a beautiful day here just northeast of Elkhart and we're here again with Gene Miller from GM Homes and we're talking about a new home construction here today. Once again, following your work here, Gene, on this beautiful home. And today, outside, it's a beautiful day to be out here. And we're going to talk about three things. We're going to talk about proper flashing, proper preparation of the outside wall for the stone that'll go on it, and then the stone itself. So, Gene, why don't we get started here? And you, you tell me that little things can be huge. And what do you mean by that exactly? Well, the little details are, you know, very important in keeping the water from penetrating the house from wind, snow, rain, all those types of th things. Moisture can penetrate the house if it's not flashed properly and uh, built the right way. And so what you're doing here, and we'll drop down here just to take a look, uh, down on the flashing, you're very careful here to make sure that even the, the seam of the flashing is sealed properly. Yes, that's correct. We have uh, metal flashing here that we've bent, so there's no seams, comes down, goes, goes over the foundation, and then uh, where the butt joints are, we do have a butyl sealer there that's sealing that up. And the reason that's so important is because if any rain would penetrate uh, the stone or come down underneath the stone, it would follow down the wall on top of the Tyvek and then go on top of this flashing we have here and then over the metal and down on the ground, not, uh, you know, in going into the home whatsoever. And that's what we're trying to prevent. You are being extremely proactive here, aren't you? Yes, we are. Well, as we continue the process here, and this is a great shot, uh, Gene, tell us what we're seeing here right next to us. Okay, well this is the uh, scratch coat for the stone that we're going to apply. And first what we do is we put the tar paper on. Uh, as you can see, the black tar paper over here, we put that on everywhere. And that also protects if there's any moisture that gets through the grout lines or behind the stone, uh, the tar paper will protect it from penetrating the house. Then we put a wire mesh on. The wire mesh is to hold the scratch coat uh, to the house and then we're ready for the stone after that. So it's not as easy as just throwing some stone up against the outside exterior wall? No, it's uh, all about the details and doing it the right way. And I would think doing it the right way for as many years as you've been doing it really becomes quite an asset for a homeowner thinking about maybe doing this kind of work. You've got to know what you're doing. Yeah, that's right. And, you know, the biggest thing is, you know, uh, you know, anybody can do this, but to do it the right way, if you do it the right way, you will not have uh, service problems. Uh, the stone will stay on the wall. They won't have moisture going in the house. And, you know, you just want, you'll have a long-term uh, good product when you're done. Absolutely. Well, Gene, let's step over here to the stone, if you don't mind. And uh, this was just delivered here, I believe, for what, in the last few days, this natural stone? Yes, that's correct. Uh, they delivered it uh, from Rose Fuel, uh, Halquest Stone. And this is real stone that uh, is, is they, they uh, mine this stuff and then they split it in half, shave it in half, cut it here. And that way uh, it's easier to install that way and it does not, uh, you know, cause any problems with the integrity of the stone whatsoever. Also, you, if you notice, the stone has a lot of color to it and a lot of different textures, a lot of different shapes. I noticed this one right here especially. Yeah, yes, it's uh, really, you cannot match or imitate this this texture whatsoever. Uh, there is a lot of good imitation stone out there, but it's, you can always tell the real stuff from the uh, imitation. Like anything else, I would yeah, think. That's now, to, to top all of this off, you're going to use some limestone too, aren't you? Yeah, we're going to have the uh, two inch by two inch uh, limestone cap. We have a pile out here uh, that will go on top of this stone and then we will have another metal flashing that will go on top of the limestone there again to you know prevent any uh, water from going underneath the stone. Again huge things make a Little things. Little things make, make a huge a, difference. A huge di I wanted to quote Gene, and yeah, I got it wrong. But little things do make a huge difference. And we were talking, too, just a moment ago before going on, that maybe in this part of the country, you may run into more problems than, say, a place like Florida or Texas. Yeah, that's true. Because of the freezing and thawing, if any moisture gets behind that stone, it can pop it loose and uh, just cause you more trouble with the, the freezing cycles that we have here in Indiana. All right, Gene, some really good information today. We sure appreciate it. Thanks for having me. 
Gene Miller, folks, from GM Homes, and you'll want to check out the website, and you can find the work up on the GM Homes website when you first go to myfresh.tv, and when you do that, you'll find contact information. If you're planning now or maybe down the road, this is the guy to talk to. He does things right, and we're going to find out more about what Gene's doing in the coming shows. So, uh, Gene, you're going to be back here to help us, aren't you? Yes, sir. <laughs> we'll be back with more next time with Gene Miller. Stay tuned.